Alright, today we're having a look at Green Natural Platform by Simo Math. Alright, so here we are in Green Natural Platform or Old by Simo Math. We had a really nice, uh, very short intro. I love, okay, I love these pixel flowers and I'm loving that butterfly. Uh, it was like a, a little short intro. It had the name of the creator, uh, or at least uh, their old name. Uh, used to be uh, publishing under Todos Amigo. I, I should have written that down as a note. I'm sorry, like my brain completely stopped. Everything is just busy and on fire, and I wanted to take a level that seemed to be like maybe a little bit less stressful than- Oh, fudge! <laughs> uh, you know, just kind of like a, a chill level. I'm really liking the lighting choices in this level. I'm liking like the, the general build of it. Uh, it is going for that natural feel, but it does feel a little bit different than some of the kind of natural aesthetic that we would usually see in LBP2 levels. A uh, little bit more usage of the decorations as kind of like platformers. I don't... I don't know how I feel about the pullback on the camera there, but that's... that's okay. I don't know what stickers these trees are. The, the little twiggy trees, and I'm, I'm liking them. Now, like... Okay, so one thing here, I, I know that the, the mushrooms are representing some sort of hazard because there's a thing to, to go over them. Uh, you know, the, the acorn that we're going to grab on? I almost forgot the word acorn. Um, but, like, there's nothing really that says hazard to me about the mushrooms, so I don't know. Like, kind of player expectations and... Hmm, I might need to, to pull that apart a little bit more uh, in the hub, because now where am I supposed to grab with the R1? Like, where am I supposed to go here? Um, um, that was, that feels, I felt like kind of a little bit weird. I don't know, okay, this is already knocked down. I like this bit, by the way. I really like that these decos are being used for kind of platform elements. I always appreciate that. So, like, am I supposed to be going for the upper red one, or am I supposed to be going for the lower red one? Like, there's no... Is there... I'm hoping that it's not an issue where something hasn't appeared that should have appeared, because I don't really see how we're making that jump, aside from maybe... I don't know, like, climbing a around? Like, doing a monkey bar climb around the acorn? Can I get this up higher? I can't really. Maybe it's just that the, the jump is really tight. Wait, what? Why did... Oh, I... You know what? Like, we're just gonna run with it. it I, I'll, I'll do it in the B-roll, so I'll try to figure out why that happened. I wonder if we were getting caught up on the, the kind of the flowy material there. Oh, fudge! Well, we gotta go back to the hub, but we'll, we'll talk about it there, and we'll see you there. See yas! And we're back! And green natural platform old by Simoma. And it's, I, if I'm being perfectly honest, I, I do think that it is an orange diamond. It, there's some really good parts to the level, especially in the front end of the level, but I feel like it falls apart pretty hard once we get past that level link. Now, in that first half of the level, and it's a style of, of like, level presentation that I, I don't think I've seen very much recently, where it's almost entirely built on decorations where you do have like some materials going on in there especially we see like the, the, the running glass material that's kind of aping a water effect but for the most part you've got like a lot of those decorations coming out of move set that are acting as kind of like the platform environment so you've got the, the mossy bits and you've got uh, the, the wood bark and there's some like really nice sticker work going on in there as well and you don't really see any of the materials, and I, I really, really like that presentation style. I don't think I'd necessarily like it if I saw it all the time, but it is it is nice to see it done every now and again in a level like this. Now, I, I do feel like in that first section that in some of the areas that I think that the cameras could have been worked on a little bit, changes in camera zones, and also just sometimes like the size of what we're seeing in the, the camera, there's one bit in there where, like, it pulls back really far, and you get this this really big view where you're, like, tiny and at the bottom of the screen, and I don't really know if kind of pulling back that far uh, 
really does much for the effect of the level. Uh, something else I want to point out before I forget is I really, really love the animated butterflies in the level. I thought that they just looked like really cool, they're really well animated, and they kind of pop up in a, a pseudo-natural way that I thought was really neat. Uh, as far as things that I didn't necessarily like about that first half of the level is that at uh, one point in particular, and we, we were having that issue in the end of the first impression section where I kept on trying to do this jump and I couldn't figure out like where I was supposed to be jumping to uh, because I, I kept on like dying for no reason. I kept on I'm not landing on something that it seemed like I was supposed to be landing on. And uh, what was going on in that section is you've got like that wavy glass bit that is dropping down or that is like a thin layer in the front of the screen. It's supposed to look like a bit of a waterfall. And you've, you've gotten your cameras kind of pulled up a little bit because you, you were on a grabby bit that pulled you up. And it, you've got two potential red bits that are attracting your view. And eventually, w what you want to be getting to is that one on the bottom. But if you try to do a long jump, because the platform that you're jumping on is like a bit of a wooden material, and it's not like super clear that it is a platform, that it, it seems to me that you wanted to get like as close to the red bit as you possibly could, and you just can't make the jump that far. But if you try it, it puts you in front of the wavy material, which means that when you fall, you'll fall like out of layer, and you just need to make a much shorter hop to get onto that bit. And then you can just run across to the, the red bit and it'll, you grab it and it raises up the kind of the branch that you're on and then you do it on the other side and then you kind of move on. And we get to the, the level link and honestly, like, I, I, can, I can imagine that uh, Simomath was probably dealing with thermo issues here because we do have so many decorations that are going on in this level and it, it's probably just cranking things up so that they needed to, to draw the level to a close and I, I totally dig that. I feel like you probably could have closed the level fairly close to where the level link was. Maybe just do a little bit more so it doesn't feel like a dead stop but you could have you could have ended it in that area and it would have felt like a short but relatively complete experience, I think. But we've got that level link. And now, normally I don't... Like, I feel a lot of different ways about level links. Uh, if they're going to, like, a continuation of the level that we've just been in and it's just kind of you, you shrug your shoulders because sometimes with LBP2 and, like, you know, people were making really big complex levels and there just wasn't enough space in the thermo and that's why we got these level links and they're even used in the story mode. I used one myself in uh, Blue Monomians that I, I did in LBP2. So like if it's a continuation and okay well you've just got a big chonky level that would have been a dethermo level in LBP3. Um, uh, the, the level links that I, I really kind of hate are the ones that take you to completely different levels, especially if there's, like, no choice in it. Like, sometimes you'd get level links after scoreboards, for example. Um, and here, it's like... It's set up as though it is a part two, but that part two feels in no way connected to what we've just played. Like, it's slightly slightly connected I guess a little bit in some of the theming of like the materials and decorations but like suddenly you're in this oh this big house fire is going on and nothing happens with that it's just like it's just a house that's on fire you're not like dealing with it you're not rescuing anyone you're not trying to uh, escape the house fire you're not trying to uh, put out the house fires like there's just this big house that's on fire and then you go into this section and it's very much like a platformy section it's like it's not necessarily a bad platformy section but it, it's something that feels uh, it feels very different in tone from the platforming that we saw in the, the part one of the section where it's it's like much 
blockier and you've got like it's much I want to say kind of gamified in a way where you've got like kind of blocks that are going in and out of the wall uh, you've got like some decent interactions where you're grabbing things and like it's causing parts of the level or at least platforms to kind of lower down or dangly bits to kind of lower down but it feels so different from uh, the first part of the level. I think the presentation is an awful lot sloppier as well. In the first uh, section of the level, and you do see things where it's like, you've got uh, like R1 on sticker panel to tell you that you're supposed to be grabbing things, and like it does come up a little bit. One neat thing I did think about that in the first part was that when we see that, when we do do the R1 to grab something, that the sticker panel actually turns off, which I thought was kind of a nice effect. Like, you you grab the thing, you got it, you don't need to see this anymore. Um, you've got, like, a lot more of, like, just straight sticker panel, uh, like, shaping, like, arrows that are, are telling you to do things in the, the second part of the level, and it just kind of looks a bit ugly. The sticker panel stars as well don't look anything as nice as what we saw in the first part of the level. So, like, in that sense, the presentation feels very, very off. Um, and then, like, the, the level just kind of ends. You know, you, you get some platforms to move around, and then there's, there's a, a tube that you can jump in, and then there's the scoreboard. And the, actually, I kind of got worried about that tube section because you go behind a bit of the platforming that we've already seen, but you can't, like, track where your player is. There's no... There's no, like, window, there's no hole that's, like, showing you, you know, where you are in the level. And I actually thought that, like, maybe I had gotten off of the section I was supposed to be in and, and kind of broke it. Because it takes you a while to actually get to the scoreboard. That's not the case. Like, you do actually get to the scoreboard and the level ends. And it's just, like, the level just ends? Now, if the level had just ended in the first part and I would have been, like, well... You know, okay, it was it, not a really great paced level, but I really enjoyed the experience that I had. I really enjoyed the presentation that was in there, and it was, like, really, really nice. But to have the level, like, kind of dead stop in that second section, where the second section doesn't have any flow from the first section, and it doesn't have any, like, real internal flow. Like, the pacing doesn't feel particularly great in that second section, and then it just ends, and it's like... It just scotches the entire experience, and it really brought down the the entire thing for me. One thing I do need to point out, I feel like, for that second section that I think was well done, that in the, the, the burning house bit, because you do go to that burning house bit uh, eventually, and there's a couple of areas where there's like bigger jumps that you can miss, or there's a bit where like you get thrown through a, a chimney and you get onto the roof and there's like a prize bubble that's on the left of the chimney that you get out of but if you get that prize bubble then you can't like get back on top of the chimney to go to the right which is where you need to, to go to progress the level um in those sections that like there are kind of a backup uh, bounce pads or ways to get to bounce pads so that you don't actually kind of soft walk the level you don't have to kill yourself to get uh, back to where you need to be to progress the level and I did appreciate that a lot of times I do find in levels that where players like quote unquote break the level in ways that maybe the creator didn't expect and because the creator didn't expect it there's no like accounting for that and you just you kind of have to kill yourself to get to get back on track or you have to leave the level entirely because maybe there's a, a checkpoint that's been triggered and like there's a, a bit of platforming that has already moved that you can't get back up onto um, at least here that there are those fail safes in it so that you don't you don't have to kill yourself you don't have to screw up the level uh, to progress and I, I did appreciate that but like if this had been just the first half just the first part of the level before the level link it probably would have been a strong yellow square maybe even a softer green circle that would be pushing it but it's possible uh, but with the addition of the second half, like, it does really, really drag it down. And I think that pretty much says everything I can about this level. Interesting experience, very LBP2 experience, not one that I don't recommend, but not one that I've super enjoyed at the end. And that does it for us here, this go about. So, from me, Disco, here in Tokyo, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, thank you, thank you, arigato, arigato, sayonara, see you... And ciao.